Bladder cancer occurs when abnormal urothelial cells grow out of control. While most urothelial tumors occur in the bladder, they can also occur in other parts of the urinary tract that are lined by urothelial cells. Though rare, upper tract urothelial carcinoma, or UTUC, occurs when abnormal cells that line the upper urinary tract grow out of control. This includes the ureters, the tubes that connect the bladder to the kidneys, and the upper lining of the kidneys, called the calyx and renal pelvis. A pathologist will examine the cancer cells under a microscope to determine the grade of the tumor. A low-grade tumor is usually less aggressive and slower to spread, whereas a high-grade tumor can be more aggressive and may spread to other parts of the body. Upper tract urothelial carcinoma can be non-invasive, meaning the cancer has not spread beyond the urothelial cells that line the ureters and renal pelvis, or invasive, meaning the cancer has advanced beyond the urothelial cells and may spread to other parts of the body. A doctor will decide on the best treatment options for upper tract urothelial carcinoma depending on the grade, stage, and location of the tumor. Some common signs and symptoms of bladder cancer are blood in the urine, also known as hematuria, pain when urinating, and needing to urinate more often than usual or struggling to pass urine. In addition to these, upper tract urothelial carcinoma may also cause pain or discomfort in the back, just below the ribs, known as flank pain. Always speak to your doctor if you are experiencing any new or worsening symptoms. Learn more at beacon.org.